Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking all about environment variables. We'll start with a brief overview of what they are and why they matter. And then for the bulk of the video, I'm going to take you through a practical example showing you how to create your own environment variables and how to read them into your Python and R scripts. So firstly, what are environment variables? Well, if you're familiar with the concept of variables in programming, then you know they're like labeled boxes holding some value or information. For example, a equals five. Now think of environment variables as a special type of variable, but instead of living inside a particular script or program, they live in your computer's environment itself. This means they are stored in a location that's accessible to the entire operating system and can be accessed by any program or script that runs on your computer. Okay, so why should you care about environment variables? Well, simply put, they are an effective way to protect sensitive information like passwords, secret keys, or API tokens in your code. Let's take an example. Imagine you're sharing a piece of code or collaborating with others in a public repository. And let's say your code contains secret keys or passwords. If these secret keys or passwords are hard coded into your scripts, anyone with access to your code could see these sensitive details, which is obviously not an ideal situation, right? Environment variables come to the rescue in these types of scenarios. They allow you to store this sensitive information outside of your code, which thereby increases your project's security. So let's now jump into the practical side of this video, where I'll show you how to set environment variables from the command line and then read them into your own Python or R scripts. Okay, so I've got two terminals set up here. Uh, the top one is a Windows terminal, so that's the Windows command line. And the bottom one is a Linux terminal, it's a Linux command line. Um, and the reason I've done this is because there's slightly different commands depending on what operating system you're on for how to set environment variables. So we're going to start with Windows, which is the top one. So I'm just going to minimize myself. So to set an environment variable from the command line in Windows, we use the set x command. So this is a standard uh, setup of how, how it would look. We use set x and a space and then the variable name, so the variable we want to set, and then another space and then the value of that variable. So let's go over a quick example. I'm going to set the, let's say, passcode environment variable. So for demonstration's sake, we're just going to make the passcode 1234 and then click enter and we can see this message on the terminal that says success specified value was saved great now in windows we can print an environment variable to the command line using the echo command so if we do echo passcode what we will see is that it doesn't actually print the value of our passcode it just prints this expression and that's because when we set an environment variable win in windows it doesn't save in the current terminal okay what we have to do is open a new terminal so every terminal we open from now on will have the actual value of passcode printed so let's just try that out okay so i've just opened a brand new terminal and i'm just going to do the exact same command as we did before and this time it should be printed out for us. Yeah, there we go. So we see our passcode 1234. That's now saved in this environment variable. So now let's do the same thing in Linux or Mac. So Linux and Mac are both uh, similar in the way we set environment variables. But this time, instead of using the set x command, we use the export command. So we do export uh, the variable name equals and then the value we want to give our variable. So let me do an example. I'm going to do export, let's say, passcode 2. Let me just move my face. Passcode 2, we'll say equals 4321. OK, now with Linux and Mac, we don't actually need to open a new terminal. Um, this environment variable will be available in our current terminal. So again, we're going to use the echo command, um, but it's slightly different if you're on Linux or Mac. You need to use the dollar sign instead of the percentage sign. So we'll do passcode 2, 
and that prints um, this 4321 passcode. Now I should note that with Linux and Mac, once you close the terminal, the environment variable won't be available in the new in new terminals. So any new terminal you open in Linux or Mac, it won't have this environment variable. So it's kind of the opposite to how Windows works. So for Windows, it's not available straight away in the current terminal, but it is in subsequent terminals. But with Linux and Mac, it's the opposite. So it is available in the current terminal, but it won't be available in the subsequent terminals unless you do what we're about to do, um, which is modify the command a bit. So we can modify our command for permanently setting an environment variable in Linux or Mac. So to, to do that, we basically add that same ex export command we had before, but we need to add it to our startup file. So here's an example of what that would look like. We use echo and then our you know, same, same expression we had before within quotations. We use those two bigger than signs uh, to paste that line into our bash rc file. So bash rc file is a it's a file that gets executed every time you open a new terminal. So every time we open a new terminal, it will reset this environment variable. Now depending on whether you're using Mac or Linux, the name of the startup file may differ. So it could be you know dot bash rc, or it could be dot uh, zshrc for ZSH users. So you'd have to check what the name of your startup file is, but basically it's, you need to echo that command into the startup file. So let's do that now with our passcode two. Okay, now when we open a new Linux terminal, we should be able to access that environment variable. So let's just check that now. Okay, so I'm now in a new Linux terminal and I'm just going to type the echo command again and see if we can print that environment variable out. There we go. So that's how we set environment variables in both Windows, Linux and Mac. And we're now going to look into how we can read in these variables into our Python and R scripts. Okay, so on the left hand side, I have Python. On the right hand side, I have R. And we're basically going to go through how we can read in environment variables into both our Python and R scripts. So let's start with Python. In Python, we need to use the OS library. Um, so the OS library is the operating system library and it allows us to interact with our environment variables. This will be the standard way we can access our variables. We need to first import the OS package and then we use the get env method with our variable name. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to import OS and then I'm going to set, in fact, I'm just going to print straight to the terminal the value of os.getEnv and then our variable, let's go for passcode. Okay, one, two, three, four, there we go. It's quite simple, isn't it? You just import OS and then use the getEnv method with the variable name. It's also very simple in R, and in fact, it's probably even more simple in R because we don't even need to import a package. So in R, the standard way we read in uh, an environment variable is with the, again, same same function name, getEnv, um, but this time coming from sys. Sys is an inbuilt R package, so you don't even have to load it yourself. You simply do sys.getEnv, and then again, your variable name within the parentheses, and you've got, got to remember the quotation marks as well. So let's just uh, demonstrate this. We're going to do sys.getEnv, and then our passcode variable, and there we go. So that's it. That's how we can import those variables in both our Python and R scripts. Right, just a quick warning before we finish this video. Um, and that's that although what although using environment variables is great um, it's much better than obviously hard coding your passwords or secret keys into your code it's not totally foolproof so if you're working on a shared computer um, that could pose risks in in the sense that other people have access uh, to those environment variables so in certain scenarios like that you probably don't you probably don't want to be setting your passcodes in environment variables so that's a wrap on this video on environment variables. They're simple to use, but add a significant layer of security to your programming projects. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. 
and I will see you in the next one.